It was the end of a busy day. The engines had been working hard. They were pleased and proud. Except Henry. He was feeling ill. What's the matter with you, Henry? Thomas asked. My boiler's grumbling. Maybe it's grumbling at you. That's not funny, hissed Henry. You just don't care. But Emily saw that Henry was leaving a puddle of water behind. She was worried. The next morning, the fat controller arrived. Thomas Henry Percy, I want you to collect some trucks and take them to the docks. Yes, sir, cried Thomas and Percy. Henry watched the engines puff away. He didn't feel well. Useful engines don't complain. He was leaving water everywhere as he chuffed towards the coaling plant. When Emily saw this, she was more worried than ever. Then Thomas and Percy overtook Henry. Hurry up, Henry, Percy tooted. I can't go any faster, Henry chuffed miserably. You're just being lazy, teased Thomas. By the time Thomas and Percy reached the coaling plant, they had a naughty plan. Please, sir, Henry wants to take more trucks. He is bigger, added Percy. The yard manager agreed. Meanwhile, Emily was talking to the fat controller. Oh, I'm worried about Henry. Perhaps his tubes are leaking, replied the fat controller. You'd better check. By the time Henry reached the coaling plant, Thomas and Percy had already left. Why did Thomas and Percy leave me so many trucks? moaned Henry. They know I'm not feeling well. We'll still have to take them, said his driver. Henry chuffed and puffed and pulled his long line of trucks. You can do it, Henry, encouraged his driver. But it was no use. Henry ground to a halt. Just then, Emily arrived. Are you all right, Henry? No, moaned Henry. I'm stuck. Henry's fireman uncoupled the heavy coal trucks. Emily changed tracks and then hooked up to Henry. Oh, thank you, Emily, wished Henry. Emily and Henry puffed into the docks. Well done, Emily, said the fat controller. Then he spoke to Henry. You were brave, Henry. You weren't well, but you still tried to pull the heavy trucks. Thomas and Percy felt ashamed. We're sorry, Henry, said Thomas. We didn't think you were really sick, added Percy. Go back and collect Henry's truck straight away, said the fat controller sternly. Yes, sir, whispered Thomas. Soon Henry was mended and back at work. You're looking so much better, said Emily. Well, they've mended me tubes, but they didn't even look at me brakes, me gauges. Be squeaky wheels. All in good time, Henry. Poor Henry.